Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at games for the Super Nintendo which play well in widescreen. I'm sure that if you're already interested in widescreen Super Nintendo games and you're already familiar with playing widescreen Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Super Metroid, Punch-Out, and Link to the Past. Today we're going to be looking at some hidden and not so hidden gems that play well in widescreen with minimal compromise. The perfect complement for these games is the Retroid Pocket Flip 16-bit US colorway. The hope is to say Retroid Pocket Flip as many times as possible in hopes to get the attention of a new release with the upcoming Retroid Pocket Mini chipset. The first game we're going to be taking a look at today is On the Ball. A simple puzzle game developed by Taito and released in 1992. This is a Mode 7 game reminiscent of bonus stages in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. The game does not seem appropriate for full price when it was first released, but today is great on-the-go mobile game with short levels and interesting twists in each level. The game does have a patch available to adjust the sprite for the ball when it's stretched to widescreen that will be linked in the description. Let's take a look. Equinox was developed by Software Creations and released by Sony ImageSoft in 1992. It's a sequel to Solstice for the original NES. For Equinox, he plays the son of the hero in the previous game. It's a mix of action RPG and puzzle game with rare isometric perspective. This game has a good amount of challenge with one-hit deaths and free roaming gameplay. R-Type 3 was developed by Probe Entertainment and released by THQ in the United States. This famous side-scrolling action shoot 'em up series plays great in widescreen. Axelay is a unique Mode 7 vertical shooter developed by Konami and released in November of 1992. It still works well in widescreen format. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game that I overlooked at the time of its release. It was developed by Konami and released in February of 1994. At the time of its release, I prefer TMNT beat-em-up games, but I really enjoyed this game today.
Battle of Cars was published by Namco and released in 1993. It's a mix of Mario Kart and Twisted Metal. It's a racing game, but it's more focused on car combat to win. Thank you everybody for watching. If you're interested in more of these 16-bit widescreen games, let me know. There was a few games that did not make the cut for Super Nintendo, and there's a lot more for Sega Genesis. Remember to stay retro, stay gaming, stay awesome.